let's get into it uh, and start off with the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, we kind of mentioned it earlier, but uh, they did make it official today. Lyle Collins, uh, no longer a member of the franchise. Dallas releases a uh, former LSU standout. And, um, yeah, we'll be moving on. And I think it's very clear, guys, that uh, they're going to be drafting some O-linemen coming up here in, in a couple months. Well, they're gonna actually, like a month. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. Change. Tyron Smith, you don't even know anymore. Yeah. Connor Williams, they drafted. He's he's since uh, where now? Miami. Tra where Travis Frederick oh, unfortunately had to retire. Zach Martin, of course, you got to wonder how many years are left. He's a great one. He plays through the pain, but he's been beat up a little bit, and now yeah, Collins Miami. is gone. Yeah, uh, Connor Williams signed with Miami, and, and look, Connor Williams was a, a second-round draft pick that didn't get a second contract with the Cowboys. It didn't work out. Penalties too much. He was a big problem they've last year. They've had a good job, but they've drafted well, Paul, but yeah. that was a bad one. That was a, that was a miss, and usually yep. usually in the early part, they, they do well, and they get guys to second contracts. That one, one was one that didn't. Lyle Collins was a guy who fell in their lap. Yeah, that was a, a first-round talent. Freaking Christmas gift. Yeah, we, was, yeah, yeah that, was, I still think, I know all the the circumstances, but that that was that was a little bit weird, <laughs> well, shady on how yeah, that it was worked out. So strange and how it worked, but uh, but then you know he got to this year. He had that five game suspension. I, look, if you look at things, and I, and Jerry Jones is not usually this guy. Usually he's Mister Second Chance, but this is a year that I do think that they really felt like they. They missed an opportunity. Amari Cooper didn't get vaccinated, missed a couple of games, uh, and he's on his way out the door. Lyle Collins suspended for five games. Terrence Steele fills in for him. They can say it plays plays really well. A huge jump from last year to this year is an undrafted free agent. They're playing hardly anything, too. So Is he as good as he was, or is that just kind of like he had one of those years? Well, I mean, I think he's been better. I don't, like, again, you have to see year two when, you know, it's now his job to lose and not him just filling in. But, you know, Lyle Collins was something they kind of had to do, and it, it it's weird, but, you know, that's where they're at. Think about the offensive line. Tyron yeah. Smith, uh, they had the veteran, wasn't it? It was at left guard. I forgot his name. Then they had the center with Frederick. They had Zach Martin. And then Lyle Collins, again, a gift from the NFL gods. And now you look up and you don't know how long Tyron can keep playing. And, and Zach Martin, of course, is a Hall of Famer as well. Yeah, elsewhere, uh, these next couple of stories are kind of intertwined. But uh, it looks like Deshaun Watson is closing in on a decision uh, of where he is going to play football next. I got to say, um, I don't know what Deshaun Watson did or did not do when it comes to allegations. I think that now that NFL teams are acting all lovey-dovey with him, it's it's kind of weird just given what we just did for the last year in regards to Deshaun Watson. But, hey, he went to court and all that got squared away, I guess. So now he's in the good graces of everybody who wants him to play, be their quarterback now. And, and he's totally innocent and, you know, whatever. But um, he's coming down to – making a decision. Some think it could even happen today. I don't know. Uh, but one team he's not going to be going to is the Cleveland Browns. As apparently he let Cleveland know that uh, he is not interested. And uh, right now, that kind of leaves uh, the Saints and the Falcons as the two most likely teams for him to play for next year. Um, obviously, in-division rivals. Sucks for Matt Rule and the Carolina Panthers. And I think, I hate God. to say it, but that might be like one of the final nails in the coffin, unfortunately, for Matt Rule, is just their inability to have a regular star starting quarterback that fans can embrace and be excited about. And then they had basically like a year's run-up to Deshaun Watson rumors. Like they were rumored last year to be involved, and they're not even going to finish amongst the finalist I, group. I just don't know. They were 3-0 the last year, and Darnold was playing pretty well, yeah. wasn't he? I, I just don't know how the Falcons can make it happen. Cap, like, here's the thing about the salary cap, but this is also it's not true. Piss off <laughs> yeah. ca uh, Cowboy fans. Matt Ryan you know, just reduced his salary cap number, which was the biggest in, in league history. And you would think that he would be immovable. or But now they're going for Deshaun Watson, whose cap number is going to be $35 million, and they're going to have to find a trading partner, which they will, for Matt Ryan. But I don't know how they could make that happen. Obviously, they know how to. But the salary cap is kind of not real. No, of course no, not. not. And that's what frustrates Cowboys fans, it, not only this year, but in recent years. Now, sometimes the they've Rams. been able to not overspend. Yeah. With the, the salary cap, is it's not. It's I always thought that eventually, and maybe it is, like a credit card. You don't have to pay the $14,000 or $1,400 bill. But if you don't, what happens? Yeah, interest. Interest, interest and interest. And in the NFL, at some point, that's going to come due. But they've built in so many ways you can get out of it. 
that it's just almost a, just, just a, a, like, listen you can just do the thing where there's people in the world have done this where they just get credit cards and like pay the minimum balance the rest of their life and you'll never find me yeah i'll die yeah, and you'll you, you know you get another somebody, one yeah it, it, it's, it's just how it goes but yeah I, I don't know i don't know how they can do it but uh, i do think that uh i mean i if, if I'm the Saints and I have Michael Thomas coming back and Deshaun Watson and potential to sign some other playmakers with Alvin Kamara, who Would I know Sean has Payton to have retired? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He, can't, he can't undo if he it knew now. He could have, if he knew he could have Deshaun Watson, would he have walked out? Well, maybe he thought he could anyway. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. All right. So Andrew Brandt said a team acquiring Deshaun Watson would inherit his $35 million salary, but that will be reduced with the pending suspension of what he believes will be at least six games. With a six-game suspension, if that's what the NFL were to do, then the new team would have only a 22.65 cap. So that would that alone, if he were to be suspended six games, would take nearly $13 million off the cap, of his expected cap number. So that's part of how it can work. I cannot imagine he will not be at least suspended He's for be. just the particular protection of the shield just because they don't like these stories no matter so, what we know yeah, yeah i gotta move on here because all these uh, other yeah. things are interconnected here okay. so deshaun watson is apparently told cleveland i'm not interested and he's looking at the saints he's looking at the falcons panthers to a far lesser extent it appears at this point panthers fans and, and i don't know maybe he flat out said he didn't want to play there either i haven't seen that but i just saw the resignation on the part of many panthers fans uh so why this matters for others is obviously, um, you know, if Deshaun Watson's back in the league and playing starting quarterback, that's going to have a domino effect. But the fact that he told Cleveland no is very interesting because Cleveland has so badly screwed up their relationship with Baker Mayfield in their pursuit of Deshaun Watson that yesterday we are sitting here talking about that letter that he wrote, Baker Mayfield, basically his goodbye to Cleveland, Ohio. Yep, yep. And thinking the whole time that, like, they don't, they clearly want Deshaun more than they want me. Um, so, whatever it was that led him to write that letter, he writes that letter. And then today, you get the news Deshaun Watson tells Cleveland, no, I'm not interested any longer. So, what's Cleveland supposed to do? Hey, Baker. Call Atlanta. Come on down. And, yeah. and so that's leading to a little bit of talk about, like, yeah, what happens there now? Where does Baker Mayfield go? Because he's probably not going to be in Cleveland. So, is that Indianapolis? Is that. Carolina, you know, like where where does he end up fitting? So there's a domino effect from Deshaun Watson and and the decision that he makes. But I agree. no matter no matter what he does, but it's, he's already made one in Cleveland with Baker Mayfield. Yeah, he's gone. He can't come back from that. Now, yeah. Right? Well, yeah, and, and the thing is, is the Browns have said that they're not going to honor his trade request, but we'll see how that goes. I They'll honor his trade request if they can use it. If he can go somewhere else to make him happy and they get what they want. Exactly. Here, count me among the group of people who I'm not completely out on Baker Mayfield yet. I was really impressed the guy played with a torn labrum in his left shoulder this year. I know it's not a throwing shoulder, but man, that's a painful injury. I think if you have, and I think Kevin Stefanski proved it. Now, part of the reason they might be done with Baker Mayfield is just Baker might be kind of a lot to deal with. You know, he's got a big personality, but yeah. I think if you have the right offense around Baker Mayfield, you can win games with that guy. He's better than at least a half of the NFL, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's got a lot of detractors and some of it's for just his personality or his attitude, and then some of it is his play. I mean, he's not like some superstar, you know, as far as his play goes. He can flash that, but he, he hasn't become that. So another domino, uh, or not really a domino effect of Deshaun Watson and, and apparently being down to two teams, but we know Baker wants out of Cleveland now, and Cleveland apparently doesn't really want Baker, so something's got to happen there. Um, and in effect, that quarterback situation. But the Falcons being one of the other teams that were, you know, apparently among the two finalists for Deshaun Watson, well, their superstar tight end, Kyle Pitts, went on Twitter at one point while all this scuttlebutt was going on a couple hours ago and said it's about to get scary in Atlanta. And so what do you think everybody thought that that meant? No, not They're good. getting Deshaun Watson. Yep. And he deleted the tweet. And then he came back a little while later and quote tweeted Ian Rappaport's tweet that said the Falcons are signing cornerback Casey Hayward to a two-year $11 million contract <laughs> some key veteran help in the secondary and he quotes that and he goes this is what, I was, what I was talking, talking about, about. Yeah. my dog's back home and I'm yeah. like all right Good I, catch. I don't think anybody's believing him hey. I don't think anybody's hey. believing him get rid of the evidence guys this is yeah. what I was talking about okay yeah so that's got people kind of going huh maybe that means Atlanta's in the driver's seat or you know what have you but We'll see. We'll see sometime well, very soon. Deshaun Watson was a ball boy for the Falcons growing yes, up. There he you go. And, and Arthur Blank actually have a relationship. Arthur Blank, wise enough. And I've met the man one time at the NCAA tournament. He was very friendly. And it doesn't surprise me that he would remember a ball boy from 10 years ago. No. <laughs>
No. It just, that's he's got a Gil Brandt mind. Yeah, he does. Yeah. The yeah. Rams, uh, they probably don't get enough credit for how well they've drafted. We always just pay attention to the fact they've got like six future Hall of Famers on their roster that are still relatively in their prime. But um, they did make a move today uh, in free agency, uh, signing wide receiver Allen Robinson. Three years, $46.5 million deal uh, for Allen Robinson, who... Um, gets 30.7 million guaranteed so Matthew Stafford's got another weapon and, and you've already got Cooper Cup and you got Robert Woods and you don't know what's going to happen with Odell Beckham that's one thing that we don't know where Odell Beckham's going to play next year so is this to help replace that is this just a move they would have made regardless that's another one of those what effect does this might have so yeah um, uh, big signing there for Allen Robinson and the, the Super Bowl champs Robert yeah. Woods will be back next year you know for them Bobby Trees uh, as they call him, and uh, so it'll be interesting to see. But they've got a—he's coming off an ACL, so is OBJ. So smart move by the Rams to get Allen Robinson. Yeah, that was a good pickup for them. Uh, Fletcher Cox, longtime veteran, uh, released today by the Eagles. Uh, although they are looking at potentially uh, bringing him back into the fold. Obviously, you'd have to get some uh, contract you know negotiations going it's all about the money uh, the release but he's been around a long time so that was kind of notable for the philadelphia franchise and there's a lot of other stuff swirling but i'll leave it with that for right now no I, the, the fletcher cox he can play now he's kind of uh is he tyron smith in the, as a defensive lineman or he more even more active I maybe mean, even, even more he, active yeah. but he i mean he's he's tailed off the last couple of years yeah, he's, he's getting like, older he's getting older yeah. it's so, a position of just it, physicality for, for, just for him i hope that he can go to a place where he can kind of be a rotational player i, I want to see i'd like to see him win stay again. in philadelphia i wish they could bring might, him back he yeah. might he yeah. could he's just gonna have to make less money yeah. and yeah. you know that that's the eye of the beholder thing some guys are all about doing whatever to help the team and some guys are like no i want every penny so uh we'll see if that philadelphia loyalty comes into play there but yes he could in fact return but uh that's that's gonna kind of do it a uh, little nfl news and notes lots of big names in there coming up next chuck cooper